morning, welcome to Urban Airsoft. Here we have today a couple of new products that I'm going to go through uh, from an Italian company and the product itself is called Laser LED. So this is what the product comes in, nice solid box here as you can see, very sturdy because you want to protect it. So as we open the box, inside each box you get, a, uh, you get batteries, you get a charger, you get the LED laser product itself and you also get a little bag of accessories here. So this model is the XG and over here um, we have the XP as you can see this one comes with the grip um, and this one just comes with the paddle instead so there's one and there's the other. <coughs> So to go through the, the item itself, it's pretty simple to get into change the batteries. There's a there's a clip on either side, you lift those clips up there and the unit just slides off the end. As you can see the cable in there is clamped in so it doesn't put any stress or strain on the connections which is absolutely wonderful. Uh, and there you can see that's where the batteries go in there. Pretty simple and it just goes in like so. Dun, 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 dun. You can't get it wrong either because of the moulding on here. Which is also nice. On the front you can see one, two, three, four LEDs and we have a laser on the front and then on the underside um, we've got a walk light here so it's a very dim light. It's made up of uh, red, green and blue LEDs to make a, a rough white light um, pointing down at the floor so it illuminates the floor in front of you without giving away your position. <clears throat> the paddle comes with the velcro as well which is always nice for them to do. So that goes straight onto the side of your gun and as you can see on the side of here you've got four buttons as well. This is the um, lock so you can lock the paddle so that it doesn't work so you don't knock it accidentally and it can also be used for turning on and off the infrared function. We've got one for the uh, LEDs, <coughs> one for the laser and we've got one for the walk light. You've got a momentary application and you've also got a double tap on there as well for changing the function of it. So. Here's one, we're going to bring you over to this one here because it's already got the batteries in there. <coughs> so as you can see I've got one here, the top button, turns the LED on and off, give it a little push. We've got here for the laser and then we've got the walk light on here as well. So the uh, LEDs, if we double tap it, turns it into a strobe. So you can turn it on and off, getting your strobe on there and those, yeah, those strobes aren't very nice at all. The laser, momentary. If you double tap it, it comes on and it stays on. Double tap, you go back to the momentary. And the water light, if we turn the water light on, double tap, double tap. It changes the colour every single time. And as you can see, the white light, that's all three LEDs. Pretty dim light, so it lights up everything underneath you. Very smart piece of kit. Very intelligent. Very good indeed, right? Fixing them onto your gun. <coughs> so we've got this one here with the cable on. Uh, obviously you don't want to twist it onto the front of the rifle on the counterclockwise because otherwise your cable gets twisted and that's not very nice. We've got two different methods. So I'll go through this one here, the XG, and this little bag of accessories. Got an Allen key for gaining access. You've got a little shark fin in here as well. So what we have, one, two, three, Four slots on there, as you can see there's grub screws on there as well. It is a two millimeter Allen key. There we go, we use this one. So what we have to get on the front of your gun, you back the grub screws off. These pads then slip inside, as you can see they are concave on that side and then on this side there's a little hole there, uh, the, the indentation. The indentation is where it goes um, on the grub screws, they just slot in like so. One, come on you, two. You take the flash hider off the front of your rifle. <coughs> this then sits over the outer barrel and then you tighten the grub screws and it presses the pad onto it. So then to adjust the laser, tighten one side, loosen the other, and it'll adjust the laser like so on the front of your rifle. So you shoot a few shots, adjust it as you need to, pop, pop, pop. And also what they have put on the side of it, <coughs> one, two, three, and four. So when you were initially putting it on, tighten number one, number two, number three, and then number four. And then from there, turn your laser on, shoot a few shots off down the range, and then you can start to adjust it using the left and right and the up and down to get it in the right spot. Absolutely wonderful. 
<clears throat> one other thing to note that they send with you this here and here if you don't want to use the walk light what you can do your screws come off the front you slide the front plate off you put this over the laser uh, sorry over the walk light and then this goes over the top of it uh, that way I do believe and you can see in there there's a tiny little hole it actually illuminates the front sight so it becomes uh, an illuminated front iron sight rather than a walk light so you can have it at the top of the gun for the iron sight or if you have it off and underneath you can use it as a walk light instead perfect not bad so for this one it's 110 pounds and for this one it's 127 so I'll now go through fixing the, um, the XP onto the front of your gun <coughs> so with this one it's very clever how they've done it you've got this piece here as you can see there's a grub screw on it and on the inside you can get clockwise or counterclockwise the ones that we've ordered in were all counterclockwise 14 mil counterclockwise so what we do is we screw this on here da 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 tighten this up once again it's a 2 mil allen key don't over tighten it you just need to do it just till it nips and then from there so that you don't have to put any tension on you slide this over the end get it the orientation that you want it so I want my walk light at the bottom squeeze this bad boy on here and then once again two millimeter grub screws all the way around we tighten those and it tightens that onto the shaft and then it's fixed it's then fixed in place so from there you can pick it up and you can start using it straight away so yeah awesome piece of kit nice and sturdy very impressed so if you want to get yourself one of those pop yourself down come see us in store have a bit of a chat about it if you're not entirely sure and um, they also supply extended barrels as well so if you're running something like a, a honey badger and the uh, suppressor runs down the floating handguard you can pop one of these on then you can put your unit on the end and you're good to go from there so right we'll take it into somewhere dark and we'll show you what it's like and when it's illuminated Welcome back again, here we are on the shooting range here down at Urban Airsoft. As you can see it's pitch black down the bottom of there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the torch, what the torch is like, what the laser is like and I'm going to go for a walk through the darkness and show you what the walk light is like as well. So let's go into darkness. Here we go, so I've gone. Would you like to point it down range Harry? So we'll start with the torch. Bing! As you can see it's pretty bright. It's got a double tap on there with a strobe. Wonderful. Another wonderful function of this. When the battery starts to get low, the strobe starts to slow down, starts to clear identifier that you need to recharge your batteries. So, laser. See the laser down at the bottom? Pull it. Can't get enough of that. So you've got the light, and you've got the laser in there as well. You can't really see the laser. We'll turn both of those off. Let's get the cabinet open. You can see the white light on the front of me. It's in blue at the moment. Green, red. Colours, that one's white, so that's got all three LEDs on together. So that's pretty good to be fair. Doesn't illuminate me too much. You can see the floor in front of me. Coming all the way down the range. And that's the bottom. You see the zombies at the end? And they go back. Awesome. So just like that. Let's go back through and do a little bit of shoot with the laser. So we'll blind them, we'll turn the laser on. And do a little bit. Wow, certainly makes a difference here with a laser on. I love it. So all in all, excellent piece of kit. Um, the two models that we've got, the XG and the XP, this one is the XP. Um, yeah, absolutely wonderful. Nice and solid build. I don't see it breaking anytime soon. Uh, as I say, it was a 127 for this model, 110 for the other model. I um, think I might have parted with some money and get one of these myself. So um, yeah, pop in the store, come say hello. Uh, we have got a new web page coming out soon as well, so keep your eyes on that. Um, rather excited for that, so thanks for tuning in. See you all later.